come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home, my name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, my loves, this reading is about all that that you're dreaming about, your wish fulfillment, what you're looking for, your life path and where you want it to go. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Are we on track? And if not, how do we get there? So your overall vibe is yeah, six of swords. Your feelings I get that. I totally get that. The energy. The uh, nine of pentacles. You're ready. What you don't know. What you don't know. Knight of Swords. What could you do about it? Ten of Pentacles near future seven of swords and outcome page of wands in reverse bottom of the deck is the knight of wands so the overall vibe here is the six of swords so you know that you are now you know, your life for a while was just like, ah, ah, ah. It just, just, it felt like anything went right. It would just go wrong. And, and it was just, it was too, ah, wild roller coaster ride of life. And you feel now that you're like coming out of that and you're going up. And it feels good. It feels good to be moving into smooth waters and that all sort of shows in your energy is you're like you know what I'm happy I'm all right I'm good I'm sorted I'm I'm going in the right direction I don't know what direction I'm going in but <laughs> everything seems to be okay I'm happy even if nothing's happening at all, there's just this feeling of that uh, you're, you're good and you're all right. What you don't know, Knight of Swords. It's a very hasty kind of energy there. Knights can be about travel. Let's have a look. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Burnt a lot of bridges. I heard that. You burnt a lot of bridges. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? And I bet you don't even feel lonely. Cup of tea. I bet you kind of thought for a while I'd feel really lonely if I, you know, didn't have these people in my life. And you don't. <laughs> Everything's kind of feeling good. Some of these people are going to try and come back in, but you're not, you're not moved by it. You're not moved by them anymore. You don't miss them. You're, you're not, this is what you don't know is some of those people that I feel like if you were to let them back in, you would start going like this again. 
you're not moved by these people and they're gonna come in and, and try to be, be like, well, why are you behaving like this? Who, you, who do you think you are? And I wouldn't even let them get that far. Don't answer the phone, you know, don't answer the email. Don't answer the DMs. Be like, I've walked away from you and it feels good. Just with the four of cups here, just be like, nope. Don't miss you. I'm good, I'm happy. You're sort of happy with that bridge being burnt. And they can yell all they want from the other side, but... I feel like anyone that's left in your life are, or at least should be, people that make you feel good, good to be around, keep you in that energy. My daughter painted my nails yesterday. Good job. She's nice. Anything else that you don't know? Yeah, the hermit. You just stay in the hermit energy. You don't need any of this. You don't need any of those people. You're good. You're actually... If you haven't sort of sat and thought about it, it's a good time to do it now. I'm going to pause the video for a second. Just have a think about it. Are you happier now than you can ever actually remember? Because I'm getting that vibe from you. Letting go of that, that energy, those people, burning bridges, moving away even, is, uh, what should you do about it? We've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles, Tens are about completion. End of a cycle. And then you know, beginning of something else. And like, hang on, I can't pick it up. This is you. It doesn't have to be you with someone else, but this is you happy, renewing whatever, or, you know, getting on with your life after the completion of that cycle. This is stopping anything from the past coming in, giving you protection and safety. Oops. Give us a bit more on that. Pass can't get you anymore. The star, beautiful. Um, your energy, uh, seven of wands in reverse, is is like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm not gonna deal with the arguing, the um, I, the the conflict. I'm protecting myself now. And uh, I gotta ask, why is the Nine of Swords there? I guess it, you know. Sometimes it can be heartbreaking to let things go. Why is the Nine of Swords there? It's almost like some people seem like they can't look after themselves and it's <laughs> difficult for you to keep saying no to these people because you see them like making a mess of their life and whenever you're around they don't or so it seems but what you haven't noticed is that they do actually keep making a mess of their lives and you're just there to clean up the mess or well, maybe just this time around, you're not going to clean up the mess and they're going to get themselves in trouble and they're going to have to learn how to get themselves out of trouble. And uh, I think that that's very difficult for you. This is saying... Hold on, 
keep keep doing what you're doing even though it's difficult this person will be all right you gotta you know that's them coming to you all wounded and you're always there to help but maybe it's time to you know give them the cold shoulder and let them clean up their own mess and figure out their own life they're either gonna sink or swim, right? I get a feeling once they hit rock bottom, they're probably gonna start swimming. Do you have any need to feel guilty? No, not at all. You should feel good that you've done all that you can for this person in the near future <clears throat> be wary still be wary of people trying to come back in um because you're on a upward trajectory and things are going right for you lower vibrational energies are going to want to bring you down take from you the good energy that you're emitting that's all kind of a little test from the universe are you ready to move forwards are you gonna go back and start going down are you going to go back to that low vibrational energy or are you going to ignore it and cut them off and keep moving up if you keep moving up every time you get a little surprise message from someone i need you i need your help I need you in my life i want you back what are you doing why have you abandoned me you're going to keep allowing that person in you're never going to have you know you're never going to end that cycle but if you do cut them off you're going to have a fresh new start it's, it's up to you eventually people have to learn how to look after themselves the outcome here is the page of ones in reverse about setbacks, delays, tell me more. <clears throat> it's just like a, a sadness. And then the little sounds that you keep hearing. I have a little plastic ball that's filled with kitty treats and uh my cat's rolling it around and it's got holes in it and it lets the kitty treats out so that's that's what you can hear the cat's uh entertaining himself i think the universe is just kind of gonna let this go on for a while until you get it and you set your boundaries with these people or this person and don't let them wear you down I, uh, it's interesting that the word attrition is coming into my head and i think that's coming from wearing you down Eventually, you know, you you get worn down and you get worn down until there's nothing left. And I think that you got there, so don't let them suck you back in. The universe is just putting everything on hold. Until you learn to set your boundaries with this situation and this person. And then... 
then you've got your new beginning. But you gotta hold, you gotta be steadfast and you gotta mean it. Hang on, where have I put it? Where's my mouse? Oh, there we go. I, uh, I'm still learning runes, so hold on. Uh, pulling over a rune. H. What's that one? Limits, upheavals, risks, delays, shadows. Set your limits. <laughs> yeah. I talked a lot about. Well, shadows is a you know semantics is another way of saying this is a lower vibrational energy, and uh, there are going to be some delays. The universe is just waiting until it, it's sure that you've definitely let things go and you've set your boundaries and you're not going to let this person back in. Once you have made your mind up and you're not going to let this energy get to you anymore. It's going to be full steam ahead from the universe. I'm going to take this into extended where I want to ask about this person. How do they feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? And some guidance from the universe. The energy is gaining momentum. That's you. So keep doing it. Keep going. You got this. I'm going to take this and see extended. Thank you for joining me. See you later.